Rose winding up for the shot and oh the cannon has fired and hit Sterling directly to the face. We clocked that at a stunning 116 kilometers per hour. Now that's a lot of miles per hour. Little chance that man's nose is not broken right now. <laughs> oh indeed. Now Sterling getting checked out for that one. Spectacular save though but sadly he's not out of the woods yet. On his feet now. A bit shaken. But not third. <laughs> <laughs> this crowd absolutely loves this man. And Sterling's teammates welcome him back a hero. For now. He yells up again for the second attempt looking to make it 2-0. He approaches the ball with some determination. Here he goes. Oh, oh it's high and wide. Way off target. Yes, apparently he thought he was kicking a field goal. <laughs> Real kind of football, I'd say. <laughs> Good show. Back now to Scott Sterling. He looks a bit worse for wear, but ready for round two. And Shaw takes a moment. Here he goes with the approach. Oh! oh! Sterling with a fantastic dive. The ball flies straight through his hands and once again strikes him straight in the schnoz. And let's see it again on the old instant replay. Oh, every excruciating detail captured in HD perfection. Locked at 129 kilometers per hour. Sterling does not look well. Two wonderful saves and two definite concussions. They may replace him at this point. He's done all he can. Yes, as his trainer takes him off the field like a mustached lion dragging a gazelle through the Serengeti. Adieu, Scott Sterling. Adieu. Yale now with their third PK. Richens is in the goal, bouncing like an infant girl. The crowd holds their breath as he goes in. Here it comes! Oh! oh very anticlimactic. Let's see who they got to replace Scott Sterling. Scott Sterling is back! He's still in the game! Oh my! And he's taking a very odd tactic now. Seems to be curling up to protect his face. Not exactly a recommended technique, but here it goes. Wait, no, no. Lampert needs to tie his shoe. Ho <laughs> ho! And that's why you do a double knot, kids. Sterling, still waiting for the kick to happen. He's probably wondering when. Oh! Sweet butter! in the face. That man's nose must be absolutely devastated. He's going to look like a witch that blew her broom into her nose and then crashed into a hammer. I hardly even care about this attempt. Let's go back to Scott, Scott Sterling, the man, the myth, the, the legend. legend. Three perfect blocks by Sterling and his cat-like face reflexes. Absolutely incredible. Though I must say, Sterling does not look well at all. Well, you know football players like that a bit of drama, don't they? They're going to take him out. No, wait. They brought him a chair. Oh, a bold move by the manager. Hey. Bane sets up for the fourth attempt. And this, frankly, is a gimme. He literally just has to kick it anywhere except where Sterling is sitting. There is no possible way that North Carolina can mess up this shot. Oh! oh! 158 kilometers per hour. This man can do no wrong. Look at him bend for mercy when it's mercy that should be begging for him. He has looked death in the eye and said, take your best shot. To which death replies by punching him in the face over and over and over again. If Yale makes this final shot, it's all over. But no! Oh, he misses, which means we're going to Scott Sterling! His face is like a brick wall. A brick wall that can feel pain and cries a lot. But where's Sterling? Oh, he seems to be crawling away from the goal. What is he doing? He's throwing away the bat! Oh! Oh! Sterling has done the impossible! Incredible instincts to crawl away from the goal like that. And his teammates rush the field, happy as a lark as they slide in. <laughs> <laughs> a Benini sculpture. Uh, I'm a finish. As his teammates carry him off on the stretcher of glory, <laughs> we thank you for sharing this absolutely heart-stopping finish. Scott Sterling and his face of...